123 West 15th Street is joined to 121 West 15th Street and actually cantilevers over on the upper three floors like a sail. The neighbors uh, described it as an alien pod that had landed on the roof of the building. <laughs> a neighborhood battle in Chelsea between a couple working to add to their building and the neighbors that consider this project a monstrosity. A couple owned a brownstone. They bought the one next door. It was an SRO, single room occupancy which were basically just rooms. There were some illegal rooms as well that were built. Really, my room should never have been split. It was just a piece of sheetrock separating two rooms. It was filthy. It smelled horrible. There were some rooms without windows. These are six by 10 rooms with a sink in it. There was an old man who lived in there. I was there when he died. They had it torn down, and they wanted to put up a new building. And we figured, we had this blank canvas here. We can do anything we want. Let's do everything we've always dreamed about. Wood on the ceiling, radiantly heated concrete on the floors. We like to push the creative envelope. The walls curve. We want to separate ourselves and be different. We have put in a parking component. You drive forward onto a hydraulic plate, which then lowers into the ground. This is really something special that's got a lot of character and a lot of heart. I mean, the idea we're building a building that's going to have somebody's certain style in it. When the neighbors saw what the building was going to look like, quite different from the Italian at row houses on the rest of the block and in the area, they went berserk. You are in violation of the variance for work on Saturday, and that will be taken into consideration with respect to whether or not you are operating in good faith or not. And they started to complain to their community board and to the buildings department. We're going to meet here next week. I'm going to have the same questions. No, I don't want, I don't and want somebody's going to get thrown off the goddamn uh, job. Hey, it's ludicrous. We're trying to unload yeah, a job. Yeah, well, you're doing it illegally. We're thinking we're probably going to have to sue him, but right now I'm just getting everything done. Again, you're stunning. I'm not fighting him. I'm building a building. There are two geothermal wells that are punched a thousand feet down into the crust of Manhattan, which actually pull up the groundwater for a heat exchange method. It saves about 30 to 36 percent on the energy costs. The pilings that the first contractor did were supposed to go all the way down into bedrock. They're three to five feet short of bedrock. If we'd built the building, it would have fallen down. If you start and tell me that you're going to throw me off the job, my machine comes off tonight, I tell the DOT that I am no longer affiliated with this job, and you guys finish it. One, two, three. And see how fast you can put the pipes in. Cleaning up the site, we're trying to get the plumbers in there. You know, you're throwing 30 balls up in the air and trying to keep them all up there. But you never can do it, so you keep 20 of them up there. You're doing well. Doesn't it seem a little optimistic? You cannot do it. Just, right. just be realistic exactly. about it. Uh, we're going to need a little more money to finish the project. So you want him to sign a piece of paper saying he's going to do that? You sign off on your contracts personally? It's like, no. Why would I? Some critics are saying simply when it comes down to this, taste isn't being regulated. People don't like change. What happens with mediating the way that people can live more successfully in a highly designed environment. We want to make a place for our family to grow up and enjoy. Everyone says if we can live through this, we'll live through anything. Once you stop believing in yourself, then you're screwed.